I want to make a quick video on my local AI coding setup that is free, 100% free. You don't have to put in a credit card. That's not a free trial. It is free forever. Um, the cool thing is the way I set it up, you actually get double the usage before you need a cool, like a cool down. So let me just get right into it. First and foremost, this is for Visual Studio Code. <clears throat> I don't have instructions for any other uh, thing. First thing you'll want to do is download Klein. It is by uh, this uh, author here. Uh, next, you'll want to open up the window, jump into the settings, and we're going to set up. There's two ways that you can have it set up. I have both ready to go, and I kind of switch between of them, like just to see whatever's better. But uh, you have two choices. Google Gemini open router. We're going to set up both. So let's jump into open router first. Um, you'll want to make an account, obviously free, no credit card, all that good stuff. Here's the cool part. You'll want to jump into integrations and we're going to set up a second API access to the same model. It's the exact same model, but two different providers and when we set it up, there is a feature open router has <clears throat> to use um, keys as fallbacks. So you'll use the native provider first, and then you'll have an API access. So uh, aistudio.google.com, jump in here, um, get API key. There may be some more setup steps if there are YouTube uh, different video, but I just wanted to quickly show how this all comes together. Um, get your key, get that set up, set up the integration, um, create a key. You can see I have two set up, uh, create a key for access. And then finally bring that down here and set it up here. Now it is a pretty awesome model. I should be in my, let me open up a scratch pad and let's just check out how this model performs, right? Um, no modules always takes forever to delete. So while that's deleting, let's make a prompt. Um, I want to create a new project, bootstrap, and react <clears throat> through Next.js. Uh, I guess I could have just said, let's use. What's, dude, the node modules is a freaking menace. Um, Create a new project, let's use Bootstrap and React through Next.js. Um, let's make a to do app that can add, mark done, and remove tasks. That's my standard kind of test is a to do app. It is just like so well done all over the internet that it should do this well. Like most models should do well. This is not like a stress test. This is a, can you just make something basic test? Um, as you can see, Klein is on auto approved mode. So it is just doing its thing. Um, it seems to, yes, yeah, delete permanently. It seems to have issues with um, remembering that you can't use ampersand in PowerShell. So it's like trying to figure out how to do this. It, it eventually called command prompt. And um, yeah, but as you can see, it is just going through and it's making some calls, my friend. I mean, we're, we're through 45,000 tokens already and we haven't hit any limits yet. You can saw it was kind of rapid fire going through this to-do list piece, so. Um, it's having quite a lot more problems than it should, but let's just see how well it does.
This is more of a test on the model, not like open router or client or anything like that. But it looks like it did eventually get something going, so let's test it out. Hmm? Okay. Uh, task. Task two. All right, cool. I mean, it did what I asked. It look, this looks like very bootstrap. It can uh, mark done and remove. Now, it would be nice if it also added the ability to mark undone if you accidentally click on something you got like you have to like retype it in. but um pretty freaking neat right so this is actually outperforming um some of the um, other options like the copilot like the paid options like copilot um copilot has cloud 3.5 which is top but it doesn't have it's not um as quick it is very slow. So in fact, let's do a quick comparison. This is gonna be like a multi-level video. <laughs> we're setting it up and we're comparing. So let's go ahead and remove this. I may need to, first of all. Yeah, I need to first unlock the files and folders from that. Okay, so let's try getting the exact same prompt. Can I do, I should have history. Oh yeah, it's up here. Okay, cool. By the way, I know this is like a sloppy video, but I'm doing like a whole, perhaps one video a day or at least a video a week. We'll see how it works out, but let's go. Um, quick side note, we do have other options for models. There is GPT-4.0 like the full 4.0, not 4.0 mini. We get 0.1 and 0.1 mini. 0.1 mini is quicker. 0.1 um, is more thoughtful, I guess. Like that was the whole thing. Project Strawberry, I don't know, whatever. Anyway, Cloud 3.5 is preferred because it has a more, um, I guess it's ready to use tools more uh, than other general like language tuned models um so anyway 3.5 is like the top t people are saying deep seek beats it we'll see but um let's see how it does on this task so we're gonna hit enter or i guess click the button whatever and um we'll also kind of get a feel for how much you need to do manually and how much is uh, automatic. As you can see, a big chunk of this is automatic. But Klein, the agent that runs you know, the other models, uh, does a way better job of being agent agentic in that it will run things in the terminal, it'll read the output as you can saw, uh, as you saw, uh, it was struggling to run some commands, so it was doing like a debugging feedback loop until it figured out uh, an option that worked. Um, it does that every time. So I don't know why, but Gemini will uh, fail to recognize that it's a PowerShell and that version of PowerShell doesn't do ampersands, whatever. Anyway, we're gonna hit accept. It's not gonna run commands for me. And I guess when I hit done, that was done, done. So let's just go ahead and do a npm install. I don't even know how to run this. Um, all right, next. Yeah. Uh, do we not have next? We certainly should. Oh, npm or npx next. That might work, maybe, maybe not. Okay, it's looking good. Do we still have that other page open? 
Cool. So I'm going to hit refresh. It should load the new version of this app. Ain't no way. That's definitely not it. It cannot possibly be the exact same app. It looks so identical when I hit refresh. It's the... So this is Claude. These are two different models. This is Gemini 2.0 Flash. Experimental, you know, just to get the whole, the whole tagged list down. And Claude 3.5 Sonic. So, um, you can tell this is a different app because it's a different mechanism for unchecking and checking. Um, and, you know, like I was complaining earlier that there was no way to undo. Well, now we can undo marking a task as done. So, um, Cool. <laughs> That's actually making me think a little bit. So Copilot was not nearly as slow as it can be sometimes, especially with certain file types. I've noticed that with Markdown, it like really loses its grip on reality. Um, so Copilot has been slow. Maybe recently they beefed up their servers because enough people complain that, um, especially because they just opened up a free tier, Maybe that was part of a kind of staggered thing where they added more compute power, but a little bit after that. But anyway, point being, um, the very comparative, I mean, they, they produced almost the exact same application, uh, which is really great because now we're getting to a point where the result of prompts are becoming a little bit more predictable, even with completely different models. That was super surprising. I mean, it did tell you to use Bootstrap, so perhaps if you take a minimalist to-do app in Bootstrap, it'll almost always look like this. But anyway, um, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it gave you uh, a little bit of informative uh, uh, instructions or kind of just analysis, whether it was setting up a uh, client, whether it was comparing client to Copilot, um, whether it was uh, walking through the whole thing. So hope you got something out of it. But um, yeah, um, thank you so much. This is a brand new channel, so I'm guessing no one's going to see this, maybe sometime in the future, but like, subscribe, you know what to do. Uh, thanks. Have a good day.